Wentz under center. On first down, Wentz goes into a long count. He comes back and gives it off to Blunt. And Blunt carrying and bowling over people to the 30, to the 35, almost to the 40. Joining us for this week's edition of Tape Study, my former teammate, Eagle Great, Deuce Daly. Deuce, welcome to the show. How you doing? Mate? Glad to have you on here, man. Glad to be here. A lot of talk this past week about the run-pass ratio, getting the running backs involved. Not only did we get the big fella involved this week in LeGarrette Blunt, you got all your running backs involved this week in the running game. Let's talk about LeGarrette's carries here. We'll take a look at some of the other guys as well. Starting here with 29. Just want to get him going downhill. You know, you see these DBs, you see linebackers kind of bounce off of him. So when he got his legs churning and he's moving forward, he's hard to stop. And one thing about a big guy like him, and you saw it when he was at the Patriots, he's able to get north. I hate to say north and south because south is going backwards. Right. He's able to get north, and these DBs find the receivers. Yeah. <laughs> Instead they, of they finding looking the runner. For the receiver. Yeah, they go yeah. looking for the receiver because they don't want to hit him. This is our wham and our bam scheme. And what we're doing here with our tight end, we're bringing him in, and he's actually whamming or bamming the shade, in this case right here. And he's open, midline, and rolling. He's reading the front side back here. But what it is, he's strictly downhill. Strictly downhill, that's what he's thinking. I'm running downhill, I, you know, I'm waiting for this guy to come and crack this shade, and it's gonna be a nice little area there. Right here, now, once he gets through, what I love about it, we always try to teach running back coaches around the league, from little leagues to high school, a college, you try to teach shoulders over toes because you want to be able to make sure that these little DBs that's coming in, they're going after your knees, they're going after your ankles. You want to make sure you match pad level. And as you see, now right there, he gets his pads down, which is awesome. Now he's able to run through that, but what's important here, you see the legs continue to churn, mm -hmm. continue to pick his knees up, and he can get extra yardage after that. Really had, obviously, his best day right. as an Eagle. I'm just happy to see 2-9 get going. Yeah, no doubt about it. And it seemed like the offense fed off of that energy. Got young Corey Clement in here as well. Yes. Undrafted rookie out of Wisconsin. Got his first touchdown. Talk about the design on this play from the offensive line standpoint. I, I just love this design. You got a tackle over here. Yes. And Big V. Halapuli Vati Vata. He's over there. You're going to get I his new guy. Big I, I got you. That's why I got no, it for you. I like how you did that. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get Jason Kelsey as well in this play, displaying his athleticism, selling off this side. Just really a very good design running play that the Eagles are able to capitalize on. Yes, as you look at the formation, first when you see, and there's linebackers and safeties, uh, of course coordinators, when they see this big wing, automatically you think thinking we're running towards the Ryan's wing. Going here, but yeah. it's a little deception there. We're not. We're able to run our blast play here and we're able to get our guard out to kick out here to safety. So we're trying to circle the defense, but as you see the safety coming from this spot here, he already knows that he's in trouble because yeah. of the guard kick out. So what he's trying to do is kind of create a wall so he's trying to actually cut the guard so Corey has to go over or has to go around where this backer can come over the top and make the play. Well, Corey does a good job of getting in and back out. It's a nice job by Jason. Now, the good thing about this right here, a lot of the safeties are going to cut you low or they're going to jump on you and try to ride you. Well, Corey was able to get his shoulder square, not to continue to run towards the pylon so this guy can kind of cut him off. Once you get your shoulder square, you got a two-way go now. So this guy here, once you see him try to come up on Corey, he had to break down right there. As soon as he shuffled his feet, Corey knew he could explode into the end zone. Yeah, that's just that natural instinct of a running back, yeah. having that feel. You can't teach that. Yeah, being can't able to get him. in there, happy for that young man. Yes. Deserves that touchdown. Then another guy here, Wendell Smallwood. We I had know you all going. Yeah, I know you had, you've, you've worked an awful lot with him. Really in the second half, a lot of big rounds from Wendell Smallwood. Yes, definitely. He was able to get in there and, like I said, just it's all about getting your eyes in the right place. So when you get a guy like Wendell that has the speed to do so, you just got to make sure he put his eyes in the right place to read the correct linebacker, yeah. and he did that. He did a nice job here of making something out of nothing. You get a little penetration. Again, he didn't give up on the play. He's keeping his feet going. Real tough yards right here for Wendell. Definitely. You know, as coaches, we all wish – the play that we draw on the board will work every the time. The way you draw it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we all wish that would happen. But in this case, you see uh, the end actually stepped out, trying to contain Wendell. And these guys here are two-gapping, as you see them peeking there. So it got tough. I'm happy that Wendell showed patience. He understood the play and how it was being blocked. Then he was able to keep his leg churning, keep that leg drive. And that's all you want on a broken play. Yeah. I mean, real good job by Wendell on this play. And this, he's coming along week in and week out. Uh, you know playing running back in this league, in this offense, 
It entails more than just running the football. You had better be field aware of blitzes, things of that nature, pass protection. Wendell on this play here. Talk about his awareness on this play. Yeah, this is a great job by him. First of all, he has no front side protection. And it's good that his awareness kind of kicked in because what we're running, we're running a counter a fake counter where we're pulling these guys and we're trying to get these linebackers going so we can throw behind them. Right. So, you know, you go back to the scouting reporter, these guys, these guys were low backers that played low that bit on a lot of play face. Mm -hmm. So that's what we wanted to do. And you being a former linebacker, you know, anytime you get a guard pulling, you, you're thinking, oh, let's man. take you there. Yeah. yeah. So the good thing about this is he's actually to the two man surface. When I speak of the two man surface, I'm talking without a tight end, of course. To the two-man service, he knows that he has anything off the edge. Well, what's good about Wendell, he's a scanner. You know, he's able to scan in protection, and he sees something's not right. So you'll see him actually take a step and come back, and he's able to cut this guy and allow Carson to get outside. And again, playing this position, you got to know more than just your runs and responsibilities. You got to know your pass protecting responsibilities. And Wendell did a nice job going thigh high here on DRC to yes. get him down to the ground. Well, the good thing about this, too, is when you got a star like Carson, he has to trust a guy like Wendell in pass protection. When things go wrong, you still can rely on a guy like that. So that's just building the relationship between these two and making it stronger. Good job from Wendell here. Carson, eyes down the field. Nice first down toss. Can to you go back one Nelson. second? I'm going to tell you what. The little things that uh, people don't really see or pay attention to because they usually focus on the ball. As soon as Wendell cut the guy, he's on his backside right now. Now watch how quick he get up and go run a route, the ball is thrown, and then he almost get a chance to get a block down yeah. the field. That's mm -hmm. hustling. Always be involved. Never know when he can fumble. Never know when he drops the ball. Never know.